<sighs> Hello. <coughs> it is Snake. How is everyone? How are you doing? What in the fuck? What in the shit is a streamlet? The fuck? Bruh. Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 looking at it. <laughs> like on my phone, I'm like, what the fuck? I, I don't like it. That's way too much magic for my taste. That is something you will probably learn if you keep programming. Magic bad. The more magic a library you're using employs, the harder it is to debug shit when it goes wrong. Because you'll have to just debug in a black box with all the magic around you. <laughs> magic, not good. <laughs> Unless you've reached the level of programmer where you then just go onto the library's GitHub page and read the library code to figure out what the fuck is wrong. But who does that? I do that. Me. I'm the Mario. But why? As soon as you get an assignment to make something that is not a built-in in the library, you're going to hate picking it. I promise you. <laughs> like... Your group is going to be so mad as soon as you get an assignment that isn't a built-in. Because then you have no idea how to make it, because you never learned how to make front-ends. Yeah. But yeah, I am the snake. It's me. Right. So I'm just going to go through this story-wise and then do all the puzzles I missed at Granny. Phew, we're out of my father's none the wiser. Now what's in the woods, isn't it? Won't it be really dark once we get past Old Market? You should take quarters. I will be fine. The stars are out. We're not going to uh, go deep into the forest. If you say so. Come on then, to Norwell. Hey, up. Where are you three slinking off into the dark, then? Why well, we go to on a pioneering expedition and a great significance to the uh, to the future of archaeology? Wanna come? <laughs> I'd love to, but you've asked me ten years ago. You lot of fun in your little adventure. How dull. Just as I was about to review my brilliant deductions, too. Enjoy being a smart aleck while you can. We soon find out which of us can actually make something in his life. I really have to make something of my life. <coughs> you might get your name in some hotel, but I'll be in the history books. I'll give it a rest, you two. I'm sorry, Dalston. Please don't mind Randall. We were just going in, uh, we were just going anyway.
Sip. Yes. Sip. Here we are. Within this forest lies the object of today's enterprise. The ancient Norwell Wall. Yes, yes, we know. We live here too, remember? Good grief. Spare the melodrama, Randy. Everyone in Stansbury knows that. Cripes, you two. You have no soul. You have to build the mood on these trips. One of your trips to uh, so to speak. Now, let's proceed with enthusiasm, please. Ding! <laughs> Word of luck. The gate's locked. Whoa! No. Mm. This infernal piece of software. There we go. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Better luck. It's locked. It's probably to keep our teddies house like Randy. What are we going to do? <laughs> Loud. <laughs> Clap. The stream deck just decided to go on an adventure, like, loud, quiet, loud, quiet. Why not, my friends? Whoa. You've only to look closely to see that this gate is locked by a puzzle. So why don't you through? I just, I found the turbo button. Or in games like this, I guess the deep fry the audio button. <laughs> Loud, quiet. This, uh, let's do it again. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Not impossible, but there are more numbers. <laughs> yes. Turn the lock late and grand only to rearrange the nine panels so that every vertical, horizontal, and diagonal set of numbers adds up to the same sum. F2 and 3, 2 and 1, 2 and 1, 2 and 1. Three and one, three and one, three and one, three and one, and two and one. So... This should do it, right? So this is five, this is five, this is five, this is five, this isn't five. Okay, I'm missing one. Hmm. I hate magic squares. <clears throat> what do I want to plug in the middle? One? To make it deviate the sum the least?
No, that doesn't work. I can't make them all the same number either, which is infuriating. Am I making? <laughs> Art, sure. <clears throat> No! <clears throat> this is annoying. No, this does work. <clears throat> I just can't math. That's the solution. Or a Here's solution. This puzzle should have multiple. Solving puzzles is what I'm best at. There actually a few valid solutions, but here's one example. Not the one I made. <clears throat> Ta da! Yay! Yes, we're in! Terrific, Randy. You really did it. I must say I'm impressed. You have a natural talent for lockpicking. Hang on a sec, you're making me sound like a common thief now. <laughs> Come on, let's go. But if it's rotated, it's not the same. It is just similar, but not identical. The novel wall is just up this path. Cool! It's a bit dark, isn't it? Andy, do you really think it's a good idea to be going to the forest at this, uh, this time? 
We'll be fine. We can just follow the path with the tourists. See, there's even a helpful sign. Hmm, that sign looks as if it's even better days. Huh. Oh, Puzzle! Golly, you went kidding. The sign is in a really sorry state. It'd be amazed if tourists could find the whole pla uh, the place at all. Let's try to fix the sign for the next lot that comes by. Hm. How does this go then? Aha! Now it's all coming together. Here goes. Puzzles can be quite fun. And there we go. I wonder why it was at the ground like that. It didn't look so old that would fall apart behind his eye. Well, um, I might have brushed past it last time I was here. Honestly, Randy, couldn't you have put it back together at the time? Wait, what's that? Hold on, where are you going? Randy, it's dark. Watch it. Don't, you don't trip. Just look at the ground. There are footprints everywhere. Wow, can't even make out how many sets there are. We should stay in our house. Wherever these tracks belong to might be up to no good. Stop trying to make it sound sinister, Randy. Surely they were meant by a group of tourists. Maybe, or maybe not. But, uh, on one of my other great expeditions, I remember seeing some mysterious footprints by a bridge. You should always stop and find out how many potential villainous foes you're dealing with. Hirsch, work out how I did, how I did back then. Me.
None of them seem to have the same foot way, okay. So we have this. We have this. We have... Some... Barefoot. It could also belong to those. If one person going this way, and we have a stray going that direction. We also have this set. But I guess only two of them actually crossed the bridge, so... Here goes. Yeah. Puzzles can be quite fun. Ta-da! See, you may feign disinterest, but you're actually pretty decent at solving puzzles. Not really, it was just luck. I'm sorry, Herschel. I'm afraid Randy has puzzles on the brain. What's wrong with that? The world is full of puzzles, just asking to be solved. The next one, the Norwell Wall. There it is. The Wall of Norwell. What does it all mean, Randall? I don't have it all quite worked out yet, but I have decoded some of the glyphs, and I'm certain that this entire wall is one big map. Have a look, Herschel. Tell me you see it. A map to where? It's piano time. That's the question, isn't it? But the greater question is, Herschel, do you like puzzles? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh... if you're right about this, this is a radical step forward for archaeology. And yet the pattern's pretty obvious once you spot it. Oh, now think of it. Maybe it's easier if you look at this. What is it? It's a transcription of the sec uh, one section of the symbols. Look closely, Trash. Why have you seen a pattern like that recently? I've seen something like this before. Hmm. Oh, the fossil Mr. Collins had us reconstruct. That's what you're talking about, isn't it? Precisely. It's the same basic principle. Cut uh, your model into squares and model them. Bingo, you have a puzzle. It's so simple that none of the experts even thought to try. Incredible. That's incredible, Randolph. You haven't seen anything yet. Just wait until you solve the puzzle. What? What's going to happen? Now, now, you'll see when you cracked it. Do you like puzzles, Stare? Yes. Okay, so these line up. I also need something to complete this part of the pattern. That fits a bit better than this piece. Oh. I think this may Or maybe be not. 
puzzles can be quite fun. The lines of the ancient description seem to create some kind of map. Superimposed on the map is a diagram and the shape of the plow. The seven brightest stars of Ursa Major. The plow is commonly used to find Polaris, the North Star. Does the plow in this map also point to something? Excellent, Hash. You're not just uh, you're not my best friend for nothing. The point is that the whole wall is drawn giant map, pointing to a particular spot. Really, it doesn't look detailed enough to be us uh, useful as a map. Don't you see? The map underneath the star chart exactly matches the terrain beyond the hills. I followed this map over the hills, all the way to its destination, and dug. And that, my fellow adventurers, is where I found the mask! You dug it up? Does that mean you went up to some remote place on your own, Randy? You promised you wouldn't do anything dangerous. Don't be cross, Angie. Have a look at this. What is it? I copied this page out of Rutledge's ancient histories. Look, the uh, a symbol on the mask is exactly the same as the book. It has to be it, the Mask of Chaos. It's a shame I couldn't find a twin, the other mask that Rutledge wrote about, but... Are you sure you're not getting carried away? The symbol could just be a coincidence. Perhaps, but it's not, uh, but it's not all. The box holding the mask also contained a stone tablet. And that tablet offered its own amazing revelation. Yet another revelation? This is getting a bit much. Yes, indeed. Honestly, this is the best part. The mask is much more than a priceless artifact. It's also a key. It's the key that will guide us to the treasure of the ancients. What? That again? Do you really believe this incredible treasure trove just has been lying around for centuries? Oh, absolutely. Having studied the mask, I'm quite convinced. This artifact belonged to a civilization far, far more ancient than anything in recorded history. Not only that, but I believe these people possess knowledge and technology far greater than our own. The treasure we're looking for is not just some precious trinket, it's the legacy of an entire, entire civilization. Here, look at this. This is the secret cipher that was written on the tablet. The cipher cracked. The ancient people used it to leave messages of posterity. If you know the cipher, it's clear that these engravings on the inside of the mask are also a map. And where does it lead? A legendary place that has ever eluded the explorers and archaeologists. Fabled Akbadane. Akbadane. You have to go, Herschel. You have to come uh, with me to uh, Akbadain. No, you can't. It's too dangerous. I won't let you go, Randy. Oh, you won't let me? Just how do you plan to stop me? I still have free will, don't I? Randy, you complete clod. You're so self-centered. Sometimes I didn't even... I've had enough. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, crap, she's running with the mask. Dash it all. She doesn't appreciate her value, but the thing is... Come on, Herschel. We have to find her. <laughs> all right. Angela, where are you? Can't see you anywhere. I just have to keep looking. Angela's not going to be at your house, you Wally. Or do you need your mummy all of a sudden? I just... Never mind, let's go. Uh, let's get on looking. If I, was ups, uh, if I was upset with you, I'd hide in the school. Do you really think? Surely not. Uh, there's no way in. The doors are locked. <laughs> I wasn't being serious. How's she not helping? Huh? 
Angela! Angela, come on now. Give me the mask. You're acting like a... <laughs> there now. There's no need to cry. Everything will be fine. Just trust me. Hmm. Huh? You sound just like oh. my brother. Before he left. And he never came back, Randall. <laughs> I know I said I wouldn't do anything dangerous, but I need that mask, Angela. Sad. I'm sorry about what happened to your brother, but I'm not him. Randall, can we just drop this for now? No, Herschel, we can't. Look, Angela, I know this is hard for you, but please... Please what? Please let you go and endanger yourself while I just sit here and wait for you to never come back? I will come back, I promise. I have to do this, Angela. I can't just live in my father's shadow my entire life. I need this, and I need your help to do it. Randall. It's all right, Miss Angela. Master Randall will return. I know it. Oh, Henry. You startled me. I didn't know you were there. You needn't worry, Miss Angela. Master Randall said this would be his last expedition. Isn't that right? Uh, yes? Did you really say that, Randall? Uh, of course! This will be my last and greatest trip into the ruins. Angela, please. All right. As long as you promise not to do anything dangerous or stupid. Nothing dangerous. And Herschel here will make sure I don't do anything stupid. I... I need to go home. I'm exhausted. Please, be careful. Always. Henry, would you mind escorting Angela home? Oof. Not at all. So, Herschel, we're going to unearth the most important archaeological find in history. Aren't you excited? Let's go back to my place and make sure we have enough supplies. All right. I do hope you intend to keep your promise, Randall. We. Oui. Water, food, torch, compass. I think that's everything. Are you ready, Hesh? <laughs> I'm ready for ages, Randall. Master Randall, I've brought some tea. Thank you, Henry. By the way, I'm grateful for what you did earlier. It was nothing. I'm glad it could be of assistance. You've worked so long and so hard to fulfill this dream. I thought I had to do something. Thank you, Henry. I mean it. It was no trouble, truly. Hesh, did I tell you that Henry's been helping with research? I never got this far without his help. Is that right? So Henry, are you coming with us to explore the ruins? Unfortunately, no. I must remain here to perform my household duties. You must know how busy Henry is. My father's a demanding man, and he's taking a liking to Henry. If Henry were to uh, go with us, my father would uncover the whole plan straight away and stop us. <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. So it looks as if we all set. You should probably go home to get some sleep, Asher. Tomorrow, we set out to conquer the uh, Aquadine ruins. This could be the biggest trial of the century, my friend. That would be something. I'd stop Randall that night. He might still be with us now. If only we'd li listen to Angela. Sag.
Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 I cannot wait for the bullshit explanation of how Randall survived After finding dying. the truth behind the masked gentleman's past miracles, we went to the Gallery Plaza. There, we witnessed innocent bystanders being lifted into the air before they disappeared. Within minutes, the police arrested Alphonse Dalston on suspicion of aiding the masked gentleman. Could it be that he was the mastermind behind this series of incidents? As dawn broke on our third day in Montedor, I wondered, had we come any closer to the truth? Uh. Good morning, Luke. Did you sleep well? We were sitting on shot to begin another investigation. Oh, okay. How am I? Morning, sleepyhead. Did you have a good light in? You were, that, uh, you were out for the count, so I helped myself to your breakfast. What? How could you? <laughs> Amy was just teasing me. Uh, before we head out, let us summarize the plans for today. Uh, right. Today's miracle is supposed to take place in Tingley Town. Tingley Town? Let's hope it lives up to its name. It sounds so exciting. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I mean, it might be in danger. I mean, people might be in danger. It's not appropriate to be excited. Hmm, very responsible of you, Luke. Wait, don't tell me you're afraid. Uh, afraid? N not at all. I'm sure today's the day we'll catch the masked gentleman and for, uh, for his plans. That's the spirit, Luke. We must clear up the issue with Austin as well. I'm certain of his innocence. Let's head to the city hall first and hear the, uh, what the police have to say. The city hall is north of the Lador's mansion, isn't it? Let's get a move on. Ding, ding. Granny. Puzzle time. Da, 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 da. Four large painted crates are standing there. When stacked in a certain way, these uh, uh, crates combine to create one of the four symbols of a card sheet. Either spade, heart, diamond, or club. Use the crane to move the four crates and place them on the da uh, dais on the right so that they form this card sheet symbol. You can rotate the crates horizontally in midair. So I have the top right tip of a spade, the bottom right of a club, the bottom left of a diamond, and no piece of the heart. So I can definitely not make a heart with these. I have the bottom right of a diamond, the bottom right of a Club or spade, honestly. Could be either. So I can still make a diamond, a club, or a spade. Let's put this one down here. And put this one on top. Why not? What do we have here? Okay, it's a diamond. This must be... yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. Maybe not, but I'm missing too many parts for... the other shapes as well.
That is the only... Does this one have the top left tip on it too? No, it doesn't. Oh, but there's the, the other part of the spades tip. Maybe it's a spade after all. Let's see. So if that's a spade, it has to be this. And it has to be this one on top. And this one would have to contain the bottom left. It doesn't. Could it be a club? Do I have the top right of a club anywhere? No, but I do have a bottom left of the spade. Ah, there it is. Let's go. I believe I have this one. Ta-da! An excellent puzzle. Here's a 3x3 three three grid of some very dapper bears uh, from the Bungle sticker collection. It looks as if they arranged in some kind of pattern, but one of the stickers has fallen off. I hate this. Ah, uh, it's this one. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. A fine puzzle for a gentleman. So it's the bottom left to top right diagonals dictate which glasses, and it cycles through green, black, none, green, black. Then the bottom, uh, the top left to bottom right diagonal tells you which hat to put on the bear, and this bear is in the blue hat um, thingy. And it also tells you what um, what tie to put on the bear. Which is green. I guess the puzzle, the pattern that they were going for is different, but mine still works. I could have done it better myself. <laughs> ah, yeah, this again. But this time we are thinking with holes. Ah, uh, that's a no. Come on. Ah, 
And that's the solution. Because this one should lead me straight in there. Whee! Listen to this, Herschel. Random Randy. Every puzzle has an answer. There's a special way to arrange these jewels. Can you work it out? One, viewed from the north, the diamond is to the right of the ruby, and the emerald is left of the sapphire. From the east, the emerald is right of the diamond. From the south, the ruby is left of the sapphire. From the west, the sapphire is on the far right. The ruby is on, uh, is on the far left. And two jewels lie between them. So the sapphire is down here. And the ruby is up here. And these have to be in any of these columns. But they can be inverted. From the north, the diamond is right of the ruby. So let's do this by rendering them like this. And the emerald is left of the sapphire. So, like this. No. Like this. Yes. From the east, the emerald is right of the diamond. So, like this. From the south... Yes, this is the solution. I believe I have this one. Solving puzzles is truly a pleasure. Puzzles like these are best solved from the... Um, from the information with the... Uh, the lowest entropy, or the highest density of information. Or rather... No, wait, the highest entropy. That, that, is, that is the way you want to put that statement. There we go. This one! Yeah, Tolkien Totems! What's this? It looks as if some pranksters have erased the totem blocks. There should be four columns arranged like a staircase. Okay, so... I want one of these to go over here. Oh no. Hold on. Huh. 
What am I even doing? I'm not certain. Did I get it? Ta da! I remember this puzzle, despite not having played this game. I think they've reused it. Feet? Oh no. An archaeologist uncovered six artifacts at the Sting site. The points marked A to F. Unfortunately, in the heat of discovery, they completely forgot to make a note where each artifact was found. On the plus side, he did at least have the record of the order in which they were found. Jug, necklace, dish axe... Sword and woodblock. Okay. So, let's first... Trace his steps back in reverse order. One. So it's B D C A E F. B D C A E F. B Jack D Necklace. C Dish AFE Food <gasps> Hi Money Axe B D C A F E Here goes. Puzzles can be quite fun. Puzzle. Color changes between black and white at the moment. There's more white than black, but you can change that by touching the board just once. Which square section should you touch? I don't understand the question. Like, what? Time to solve this little puzzle. Everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> 
เอาไอ้ดิดดีดนอตอันเดอร์สแตนด์เดอะเคสชั่นแบดลีเวอร์ดัตพัซเซิลอิตเมนต์วอตดูไอ้นี่ทูทัชทูเมคเดอะบอร์ดมอร์เบล็กดันไวท์ดิฉันจะรีทินั่นพุทธวันเฮียพุทธวันเฮีย I guess why not Here's my answer. Easy. Solving puzzles is what I'm best at. Whee! More puzzles. Three more. The carpenter's received a shipment of large blogs. He knows there's a mixture of two kinds of blocks, light and heavy. Unfortunately, he doesn't know how many there are of each, and he can't tell which are light and which are heavy without lifting them one by one and comparing them. For his current project, the carpenter is only looking for one light block. What is the maximum number of blocks he might need to lift until he finds a light one? Hmm. So we are searching for a single 
criteria in an unsorted list of binary values, of Boolean values, rather. That's a, that's a pickle right there. <laughs> Unordered list of Boolean values. We want one hit. So, we need to at least pick up two. It's the lower bound. I need to sample two values. And if I'm lucky, I will find one heavy and one light bo uh, block, and that's that. The obvious answer would be nine. Because if you pick up nine blocks and they are all the same weight. No, wait, you actually would have to pick up this, uh, the tenth one. To see if that's heavy. Or light. Because, like, imagine there's nine heavy blocks and one light block in the shipment. And you pick up all of the heavy blocks first. Then you'd still have to, f to pick up the final block to figure out if it's heavier or lighter than the others. I think, like, worst case, he has to pick up all of them. Because if there's nine of one kind and one of the other, you, you pick all of the nine same first. You don't know if it's the heavy or the light bricks. How exciting! Yeah. Just leave it to me. Yep, unlucky. You'll need to lift all ten blocks. This is where searching an unordered list is no fun. Tiles are already stuck together into several large pieces. The pattern is the same as the old one, but it doesn't have to be oriented the same way. Okay. Keep up.
Let's have this uh, this here for now. And then let's see if we can't... Finish any of these shapes with any of these parts. That looks good. Fantastic. Nope. Yep. Yep's in the chat. Yes. Yes. How exciting. Just leave it to me. Uh, I've been graced with a programming question by one Flora. Uh, what the hell is this supposed to tell me? Uh, you, you run that in your command line. Preferably in an empty folder. And then I assume that is going to set you up with a scaffolded project for this library. I guess. Because so, so pip is the Python package manager. Didn't work. Weird. Do you have Python installed? Like, what failed? Which of the two commands? Also, you need to paste them without the dollar sign. In, clay, in case that isn't clear. The dollar sign is there to denote that's command line. The first one. Do you have Python installed? Because you kind of need the runtime for that command to exist. I'm going to get a drink. Paimon? No, not Paimon. Python. You know, like the snake. By the way, the programming language Python is not actually named for the snake. Despite having a snake as the literal icon of the language, Python was named after Monty Pythons. The comedy group. <laughs> Which that's just a, a fun bit of trivia. <laughs> Mm. 
Whoa! Oh no. No! What happened? I think I accidentally quick loaded. No! Uh. Oh, thank fuck. Thank you for having the literal best button. <laughs> it literally has an undo state load button. <laughs> Man. Okay, the final puzzle that I missed. There are six huge holes at this dig side. It's a bit dangerous for people to be uh, working with these big holes around. So you want to use a single length of rope to cordon off all the holes from A to F. Ha 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 ha. As little rope as possible, and no doubling back. They did the wrong command line, GG. That bar bag. How did I turn on the FPS counter, by the way? How did I turn that off? Not the correct button either. That was a save state. <laughs> I don't fucking know. That's just there then. <laughs> And enjoy the FPS, I guess. I, I can mute it. Which is fantastic. Like, why? Stop of A.
Would this be a valid solution? Oh, I also need to... Oh! Should you be last? No, I want to go this way. Now over to F. N no. Probably with a snake here, and then... I, I, f I didn't see that I need to do these. Like, this, this could work? I'm not certain. Yes. Did I get it? I've done it better myself. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Let me just... Yes. Have to deal with one of the cacti here. has to be this.
And it also has to be... It could be this, though. But then I also have to use the other two cacti here. That'll work. Ta-da! <laughs> Look at me! Yes. A cactus. Stupid job. Capitalism! Ta-da! All the items on the Flora Isle. Yeah, I know. You apparently, you apparently contain cacti. Stop flashing. I'll do bunny when I feel like it. Click all of them individually. I know what fucking happened. I was there. We are at Dash and all the puzzles. There's still one missing. Forty five is missing. Well. One more for Granny to pick up. That's not the city hall.
Scorpion's Yacht theme is so good. Professor Layton, glad you could make it. We were about to continue the interrogation. May we sit in? Please do. The more set of eyes we have on our suspect, the better chances of catching him uh, out if he's hiding something. All right, Dalston. Let me make this quick. Why'd you do it? For crying out loud, it's not me! Shouldn't you be looking out for clues or something instead of harassing me? The old hammer is not eh? But a tough guy. Well, a tough guy. We know he uh, used to horse, uh, uh, use the horse-drawn card in the statue's tree. Where's your cherry to be precise? You found tracks all over the scene. So what was it for? You get away. Your accomplices, what was it? Hiya. Tell us what you did and who helped. And the judge might go easy on you. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do anything. Can't be yet, Dalston. We've got a chariot and we found tracks so the chariot blasted all over the scene. I have a chariot, but it's not the one chariot. Uh, the only chariot in town. Maybe you should talk to the man who runs the race course. What would I gain by scaring people from the town anyway? And dependent tourists! Alright, Dalston. We can do it the hard way. We've already spoken to the manager of the race course. He hasn't said he knows. And he said he hasn't noticed any of the chariots going missing. Those things aren't cheap, let me tell you. There's uh, no one else in Montador who owns a private chariot. You've also got your motive jealousy. Mrs. Lador rejected your proposal, so you want to revenge on Mr. Lador. He could accept that a former butler got rich and married a woman. Mr. Lador told us all about it. Lador said that, rotten little. Detective Bloom, can we really say with such certain, uh, certainty that the tracks incriminate Dalston? Well, the fact remains that they belong to his chariot, and the chariot was used to deposit some de uh, deceptively like like statues. No doubt the trick relied upon crowd mentality. He would quickly turn to hysterical. If one person were saved to feign illness, a crowd would, uh, would form. This was to keep the audience concerned and distracted. Exactly. And during this time, other accomplices could do as they wish, such as wheeling and statues on the cart. Statues and place. With the statues in place, these accomplices could easily start screaming that the people had been turned to stone. Which would trigger panic. The worried crowd promptly forgets about the first affected uh, individual and tries to flee. And as they flee, they no doubt see several of these statues, which intensifies their fear. I couldn't have said it better, Professor. Professor! Confused, we didn't see any chariots there that night. How could anyone hide those statues in front of all those witnesses? We were missing the wood and the trees. Oh, th we were missing the wood for the trees. There was only one hiding place large enough and we were all looking at it. Where was that? Everything was hidden inside the giant clown balloon. What? H how? Was Edna Nobani was the only female in the entire town. Our minds have a way of establishing an object's presence once we see it. We didn't watch the balloon the whole time. How could the statues have been inside? The balloons attached to it must have been filled with buoyant gas. I recall the clown came down when they burst. An extremely sturdy vehicle could have been used to transport the statues. 
And dust is the chief suspect that he sets because of his wealth? Correct. None of the stunts would come cheap. Buying props and paying so many accomplices would require a lot of cash. He's got the means of the motive. I think he's a man. I doubt we'll see another appearance on the masked gentleman as long as we have Dalston in custody. I cannot be so sanguine. I'm sorry to hear that, Professor, but from where, we, uh, where I'm standing, it looks as though we just cut, uh, not closed this case. If the gentleman does appear... Well then. Ah uh, well, then we'll have to rethink things. If he does appear, I may approach him directly about this mask of order. Interesting. In the meantime, there are a few things I'd like to look into. I'm curious about these chariots. A quick once-over of the race course might shed some light on a mystery. By all means, let me know if you find any more evidence pertaining to Mr. Dost. evidence to convince the chief inspector. Let's see if we can track down the chariot that was used. Sir Dawson mentioned a race course. The chief inspector said he'd re uh, already checked with the manager and nothing was missing. It's still worth investigating. At any rate, perhaps they will overlook something. You never know what you may find unless you try. I saw the race course on the map back at the hotel. It's just north of here. Well then, what are we waiting for? The race course is huge! Compared to the smell of the weight of money in the air. Wow! Everybody's so excited! Looks like that will last for about another 15 seconds. There goes my yacht. What's that? I would wager that he lost his bet. It looks as if some of the cards are in use right now, Professor. Well, if that's the case, we could always check, uh, check the shed where they stored, right? Yes, but first we ought to find the person in charge here. That's that fellow over there. <gasps> good day to you, my good sir. I'm Gustav, the manager of the race course. How may I help you? My name is Herschel Layton, and I'm investigating the masked gentleman at the request of Miss Lador. Could I ask you some questions? Only too happy to help, sir. Though I do have one condition. You shall have to solve this puzzle that I recently perfected. Mmm. 75, that's plus, f plus 11. <laughs> wow. One day, four people took part in a racing tournament. First, they held races of two, then a winner's race against each other. When the losers battled for third, you can work out the order based on the comments below. I won one race and lost another. I didn't make it to the final. And this later be day. If only you hadn't lost to B.
I believe I have this one. Easy. Solving puzzles is truly a pleasure. <laughs> C came in first, A second, B third, D came last. He didn't sound very happy about the result, did he? I love that C went, I'm just happy I beat A. Like, bro, you won! Ooh. Outstanding work. Now, what questions did you have? Do you recall anything unusual happening shortly before the petrification incident? Anything unusual? No, I'm afraid it's been rather routine around here for a while now. We are any of the carts removed from the trek in the last few days. I don't believe so. Though, to be honest, I have enough deities here that I wouldn't necessarily know those details. But if one was removed, we'll have a record of it somewhere. We'd like to take a look at one. Are all of the turrets being raced now? No, I believe we still have a few sitting at the back of the shed. They're just over there. Please don't mind the smell. This must be the racing chariot the Chief Inspector mentioned. I can see why the criminal would choose the racing chariot over a regular card. This looks sturdy, good for lugging heavy items. You could transport quite a bit in one of those, Professor. Let's take a closer look at this one. Hmm, it's sadly bulky. It would be difficult to remove from the grounds without being noticed. Could the criminal maybe have ridden one out of here? Unlikely. Riding would have left tracks, and there don't appear to be any leading out of the side. We need a horse for starters. Wait, what's this? What is it, Professor? Both of you, take a closer look at this. These bolts can be pulled out to take this turret apart. No doubt these turrets are much easier to transport when disassembled. One could transport the pieces and then reassemble the cart wherever it needed to be used. So that's how a criminal slipped out without leaving a trail. But how did they do it in the first place? Surely someone here would see if you were taking apart the chariots. Very astute, Luke. Let's ask Gustav a few more questions. Gustav, is there any reason to remove the chariot from the race course? Hmm... Well, occasionally they need to maintenance or repair, but that's the only reason for them to leave the grounds. We number each one, and any repair or maintenance orders are signed by the owner, Mr. Lador. Would you like to see our maintenance records? If it is not too much trouble. Certainly. Hmm. Interesting. You found something? One of them raced. Uh, one of the race chariots was out for maintenance during the status incident. It was returned yesterday. Surely not suggesting a connection between this card and the nefarious masked gentleman. Simply one of several possibilities. It's certainly nothing to worry about. <laughs> Have you sent the repair order? Y y yes, but that's standard procedure. No chariot can be removed from the premises without Mr. Lador's approval. Regrettably, you've missed the opportunity to speak to Mr. Lador by mere minutes. Henry was here. Yes, I believe he had just come from the scene of the last uh, last night's, last night's uh, incident. I understand some black cloth was found in the gallery plaza. Apparently, Mr. Lador's donations to the gallery were wrapped in the same kind of cloth. He spoke to the curator about it. Black cloth. Interesting. Thank you, Gustav. You've been most helpful. I believe our next stop should be the Lador residence. That's right. We still haven't had the chance to speak at length of Mr. Lador. Isn't he bound to be busy, Professor? Most likely, but I believe he'll make time for us. We are investigating on his wife's behalf, after all. Hmm. 
so a cherry was out for repair during the time and miracle to, uh, place? That can't be a coincidence. You never know, Emmy. We have to consider all possibilities. Very true, Luke. We can't confirm anything, in fact, without a size of evidence. But our visit to the race course was still rather fruitful. If nothing else, we now know how the levitation miracle worked. Uh, we do? Don't you mean the petrification miracle, Professor? No, definitely levitation. I'll explain later. For now, we need to go to the Lador adventure and talk to Henry. Right, I hope Mr. Lador has time to see us. Yes, I very much hope, to, uh, hope so as well. Angela, we open to speak to Henry. Is he here now? As a matter of fact, he arrived just a moment ago. Could you wait in the parlor? I'll call him for you. Thank you. There he is. I assume you still take your tea with milk? Why, yes. Thank you, Henry. You're very welcome. I would never ask a servant to wait on an old acquaintance. You may find that a bit strange, but I hope it doesn't make you uncomfortable. Why not at all? I must say, Henry, the success and fame you've achieved here in town is quite astounding. I wouldn't call myself successful. I've just been very lucky. Hmm. Interesting. To what do I owe the honor of this visit? I was hoping you could answer some questions. You own the Montador Racecourse, correct? Yes, why? There's evidence to suggest one of your racing chariots was used in the petrification incident the other day. Absurd. Those chariots could be taken out of the stadium without a written permission. Each one has a serial number that is logged if it is ever removed. Correct. And the converse is also true. However, a chariot may be removed given that you have granted permission. What are you implying, Leighton? Seems pretty clear to me, Mr. Ladar. Simply that your log shows that one of these chariots was out uh, the night of the studies incident with your approval. The chariot was removed for repairs and returned to the race course yesterday. Tracks from those chariots match a set of tracks found at the scene of the crime. Well, that's unsettling. There's more. There are grounds to believe that you were involved in the levitation stunt that occurred last night as well. Leighton, you can't be serious. I understand that after the incident with the paintings, you donated a number of works to the gallery. The masked gentleman appeared to be walking on air. I believe he used a wire stretched across the plaza. Obviously! Okay, so... I quote... I, I, I quote now the wise words of uh, uh, of one pendulet. If there's levitation, there is wires.
Hold on, I... That... One second. Okay, interesting. Uh, so settings, video, no, configuration, also no. UI? How in the fuck do I turn off that frame rate display? <laughs> Settings. Oh, this maybe. There we go. I still have not the foggiest how I turned it on in the first place, but there it is. Those donations were rather hefty parcels, were they not? Their weight was used to secure the wire. This is a ridiculously far-fetched notion, Leighton. Yet all those hefty every donation stored on the top floor so they could be used to keep the wire taut, correct? Pure conjecture. But you must continue. I understand that you've already heard about the black cloth found in the gallery. The master of the used devices to lift the circumferences into the air and black cloth concealed them. Observers, blinded by the neon lights against the night sky, believe the accomplices had simply vanished. A professor, is anyone really capable of performing such an elaborate stunt? Yes, however, such events would require quite a bit of financing. Henry, unsurprisingly, you and Dalston topped a very short list of suspects with the means to their disposal. While I obviously can't prevent you from suspecting me, I do believe you're forgetting something important. No one's fortune is more tied to this city than mine. If it collapses, I'm ruined. So I've heard. However, the more mas uh, the masked gentleman appears, the busier Montador seems to become. Without fail, the masked gentleman's acts have all taken place in, a large, in large crowds near my immediate tourist attractions. One would expect a city for experiencing such chaos to get a reputation for lawlessness and criminal activity. Instead, the rumors seem to focus on a mysterious, charismatic gentleman who performs the miracles. I think anyone hearing such stories would be curious enough to pay Montador a visit. It piqued my interest, all right? Precisely. To the advantage, uh, to the average onlooker, the masked gentleman's miracles looked at a particularly grand performance. And I'm sure you're aware the number of spectators increases with each subsequent miracle. Peyton, I'm hearing you correctly. Are you insinuating that I hired the masked gentleman to boost tourism? It seems a possibility, yes. My wife apparently trusts you enough to have summoned you here. But 18 years ago, you left Randall for dead and ran off to Leighton. I don't trust you. You betray the memory of your friend. Now you have the nerve to make these ludicrous accusations in my own home. I explored every inch of that ancient death trap with nothing but Randall's notes as a guide out of loyalty to him. You have no right to be here. You dishonor his name. Henry, let me explain. Leave, Leighton. There's nothing more to discuss. Da, 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 da. 
Very well. We will leave. And please hear me out for one thing. It concerns the future of your city. Alfred's Dawson is not a criminal, and it's more than likely the masked gentleman will appear again tonight. If you are telling the truth, then I hope to see you tonight as well. If so, perhaps you can unravel this together. I have nothing more to say to you. Angela, please escort our guests out. Of, of course, Henry. Ding! Wow! Why is... What a surprise! Sorry, Herschel. It is I who should apologize. I've obviously upset your husband. No, don't worry about Henry. He gets emotional sometimes, especially concerning Randall. Understood. But I also have the feeling that Henry is hiding something. Oh, I doubt that. Henry is an open book. He always has been. I'm not so certain you know him as well as you pretend to. I beg your pardon? What do you mean by that, Herschel? <laughs> I intended no offense, Angela. All will become clear in time. We will soon get to the bottom of things. Yes, well... Thank you, Herschel. Matt, something keeps hitting the F keys. It's me, oh no. Professor Layton, I've been looking all over the place for you. What can I do for you, Constable? Would be so kind as to accompany me to the celebration for the bar. It's about the masked gentleman case. The masked gentleman? What is it? Has he appeared again? Or no, your partner wants to talk to you. He wants to, uh, what if the officer has a duty doing the studies, is it? This case seems to be growing more complicated by the second. Indeed, and this officer is on Celebration Boulevard, you say? That's right. Well, I'll take you to him. Up to you, uh, seem to have trouble tearing us apart. Must be uniforms. Must be. Who'd have thought it? So you did a great professor later around the City of Miracles. Ahem. <coughs> this way, please. Professor, a few uh, like gentlemen over there might be needed for some help. This will be well stumped. <gasps> Wait, I read this is about everywhere. This shit is in its stress. <laughs> this city is too big. Can you find a thin? Pardon me, sir. I'm Professor Herschel Layton. Might be of some service. Hey! Are you tears of me, bro? I just got here. He's probably gonna be first stunned. The name's Tynan Down, by the way. What seems to be the trouble? Well, for one thing, I just found a map dancing that he makes the sounds and sense. Whenever any tourists arrive in town, they are given a map to help them with their sightseeing. Unfortunately, the maps have a tendency to fall apart along the fold lines, making it impossible to work out how to get to where, uh, where you want to go. Can we store the map with its original condition? Marble?
Looks good. I believe I have this one. Solving puzzles is truly a pleasure. Yay! Aha! 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 I eat just nicely. I'm so tough with this, let me tell you. Wow, the, prof the Professor Layton and Action, you really are as good as they say. You're lucky we come along, sir. The Professor is probably the world's greatest authority in puzzle solving. Oh, I wonder how we do against the lad who was staying in my house. It was possible, because too. I treated a lad like my son. We went left to our work a few months back. I couldn't believe it. In fact, I came here hoping to find him. Off to a bad start, eh? Anna, getting my loss, MSL lost and all. I blame yourself, sir. Everyone finds a multi door bewildering at first. You'll find your feet in your time. I wish you the best of luck in your search. Ah, oh, there's Jeffy Kai, you. Thanks for helping me out of the map. I'll just be giving away then, cheers. Never too busy with the passerby with his travels. You're a very kind man, Professor. And that's right, you have the mystery of Mark's gentleman. Solved before you can say Bob is your uncle. Ha! <laughs> I will do my un utmost to justify your faith in my abilities, Constable. Surprise, surprise, and the surprises do not cease. Our breadcrumb tales of destiny cross before us once again. Let's just see you again, Aldous. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Ah, yes, the evening has fallen. The lemon, uh, and lamentably so, my have spirits. But the air of tears no longer fails my eyes now that we meet. The new warmth causes three me to soothe us, my heart. Huzzah! I'm glad because of the air of help. Why oh, must I leave without my gracious gift? I thought this puzzle over a hundred nights. Please take it. So, two crates, 30 by 30 by 30 on the inside, and boxes with a length and width of 20 and a height of 10. So I could stack three of them on top of each other, then add two more to the sides as one configuration. Hmm. Ten, I guess. Don't keep me in suspense. Nope. Okay. Perhaps I need another look. Oh. I mean, yeah, that would work. It's one of those puzzles that's rude. Mm, so... Instead of trying to fill a box... Uh, that is 30 by 30 by 30 and then doubling the result. I should be trying to fill a box that is 60 by 30 by 30.
<laughs> In which case it's kind of the same formula, but I guess I can put two extra boxes, bringing me to 12. Because I can stack six boxes up on each other, just like that, filling a 60 by 20 by 20 area. And then I have 10 by 10 by 30 left. Uh, 10 by 10 by 60 left on each side. Which means I could fill in an extra three boxes. 10, 10 by 30 by 60. Which means I can I can fill in extra three boxes on the two remaining sides, bringing us to 12, I think. How about this? There we go. Puzzles are made to be solved. This is a trick question. Kind of. Yeah. Rude puzzle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And tell me again. Bye, Aldous. That's Charlie. He's saying be waiting right here. I don't see any officers here at all. Let's look around a little before we give up entirely. Zoom! Ah, that's a part of that. Wish you wanted to tell you, but let's shine out. Hey, you brought the professor. Oh, marvelous. You know, I've been hoping for a chance to talk to you for ages, professor. This is a concern to my gentleman. Yes, I'll never forget the night. Soon I hear on horseback in hot pursuit of that dastardy villain. It moved me, sir. Plane moved me. He was on hot horseback. Are uh, you talking about us? Yes, indeed, sir. It was a sight for so eyes, the boys. The boys were so impressed, weren't they? Impressed? Mm hmm. I've got to tell you, Professor. Meeting you in the flesh after that night is an absolute honor. You flatter me, Constable. If you want to do any more horse riding while you're in town, just let me know. I'll make a course for you. I see. Well, I suppose I might enjoy it if I can't, eh? If I have a spare moment doing the investigation to this. Excellent. I'll start working on an obstacle course right away. Now, where can I get some swinging axes, I wonder? I'll do my utmost to make, the mo uh, make sure the course is worth your ability, sir. Constable, I couldn't help but notice, but... That had nothing to do with the masked gentleman. Ah, my apologies. Put in the bright shade. You know, with the supply of cowards at least uh, that last your lifetime. <laughs> and zoom. I love how it's just continue your investigation, like how? What's that? I think someone's running this way. Oh, we'd recommend that running in the street. Get over the scissors. Get to hear something amazing is going on the scope you casino. How about it's the mess gentleman standy word? We What do you think, Professor? The master at home at the casino? Subway with uh, the last warning said it would be. I don't think it's possible, I suppose. Well, I'm still on duty, so I'll have to go and see what the fuss is about. Shall I to the casino? Oh, and your lad wouldn't be allowed uh, in there normally, but if you plan on going, uh, on going, I'll tell them to make an exception. A bit of honor, Professor. Ma'am? Going by the map to get to the casino, we need to uh, head through. We did head to the shopping district in Trans Avenue. We should go too. Hmm. 
If we head up through the arcade, we should reach the casino. Looks lively, doesn't it? Come on, what are you waiting for? Uh... Oh, damn me, how could this happen? What am I given the boot? Speak of which, aren't my suits and tied? No, I'm wearing loafers. Good. Wait, no, still loafers. Good. Maybe we should just move on, Professor. Now, Amy, it can't hurt to ask. <laughs> Weird Professor Nature trope, number 3,507,000. Casino, yeah. How would it do? I'm afraid I'm in a rather tight spot at the moment. Now far be to push my tablets onto you, but... You know, they counted, don't you? No, well, I'm Murphy. The bookkeeper put the Mr. Dawson at the doors. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Where's the new background tone at all? The zoo was sent over Henry the door, but the big time is experiencing him competing with Alfred Stalton. There's a good part, getting arrested is only good for business. You see, I know Mr. Dawson is quite a dick, what is That's quite the information uh, you've given us, Murphy. So Dawson's business interests are in risk. Ah, uh, excuse me, I forget you don't have the numbers for your blood. Let me show you an example of domestic business then. Okay. So. Mm. Baker. Just have bread. That's not a good toast. It's awfully hard to draw a convincing bread slice with a mouse. Book. Coffee. Kiki. And apple. I want to be the guy style apple. So, C and A are not bakers and not patisserie chefs. C and B are not in the cafe. D also isn't the baker. And A and B are not bookshop. E and I often visit the cafe in the grouches. Which means D and E are not cafe and grocery store. C is also not grocery. That means C is the bookstore. 
D is the patisserie. A is the cafe. A is, E is uh, a baker, and B is the grocery. So we have cafe, grocery store, bookstore, patisserie, cafe, grocery store, bookstore, patisserie, and bakery. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. Easy. A fine puzzle for a gentleman. <laughs> so now you understand the complex, beautiful web of a local economy. Well, you must know, Mr. Nador found at this town in the middle of the desert. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes, M. Sneak. This must be standard. It used to be an oasis in the origins of the city, right under her feet. It feels spread out through the whole city. I don't rush you, Mr. M uh, Murphy, but how about getting to the point? Okay. okay. I got a long story short. I will love my job. Accountancy, books, a lot. I find it fascinating work. Anyway, when Mr. Dawson was arrested, the situation took a, lot, a nose dive. More than a nose dive, really. A whole face dive. And without the healthy competition from Mr. Dawson, Mr. Uh, Mr. Lador can just sit back and take right in the profits. What we're dealing with here isn't social or physical damage, but it's economic. And that's the worst of all damages. But the Mr. Lador, uh, Mr. Lador's business also suffered the two of his son frightened away. Ah, uh, that would be true if that were true. You see, everyone seems to be flocking to, this, uh, to see these miracles. In fact, in the last month, the Mr. Lador's overall net profits were up. Let's see, adjust the tax allowance, carry the five. Is that information confidential? No! Oh no, oh no! I've done it again! Yes, it is confidential! But wait, uh, did I actually say anything? Let's just pretend that you never heard that last part. In fact, there never was last part, which may actually be true. So, in conclusion, what you're trying to say is that Dawson's arrest led to great profit to Henry the Door. Exactly so. Was it clear enough? In fact, it was vague enough. I want to lose my license, you see. Professor, it seems that Mr. the Door has both the motive and the means. And certainly appears that way. is a bit loud, but it goes well with the gold. Humbug! Everything goes well with gold. I would say artificial light matches your particular charms, Mr. Bortham. An excellent observation, dear girl. And I also compliment you on your ability to maintain your senses in the face of glittering wealth. I would prefer if you didn't. Yeah, it's not that hard. <laughs> so you can't explain when you appreciate the finer things. I doubt you can even grasp these rules. Three dart players have just finished a game with the results as shown. Can you work out how many points each different color section of the dartboard is worth? No two sections have the same value, and the values increase the closer they are to the center. Each is worth a single digit value of at least one point. Hmm. 
Schaut. That is the first statement, then we have two A plus two D equal twenty six. And three C plus B equal twenty two. It is time for math. We also know it's single digit points, so the maximum value for nine, for A is nine, for D is one. Let's first assign maximum values to make 25, which would be nine plus eight, 17. And then 17 to 25 is another 8 points. So, uh, yeah. This would make the first statement true, but it probably won't hold up for the second. Let's see. No, it doesn't. 2a would be 18, but 2d would currently be 2, bringing us only to 26. Now, it could increase the value of d in this equation. I would have to increase it by 3, so I would make this 4. To keep with the rules in consistency, I would then have to make this 5. But then I would have to lower the value of B. By how much do I need to lower the value of B? Mm. 9 plus 5 is 14. Plus 4 is... 18. And that's seven. So if I make B seven, nine plus seven plus five plus four is twenty five. That works out. Nine plus nine plus four plus four is twenty six, which also works out. And 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 7 is 22, which also works out. 
So if 9, 7, 5, and 4. That is a 4. 9, 7, 5, 4. Okay, here we go. Ding. That was no match for my wits. Math. I must say that I'm impressed that lower class rebel could reason out the basic of such a refined sport. Um, not that it matters, but my family is actually rather wealthy. Mr. Wolf, the money isn't everything. Maybe someday you'll realize that. Spoken like someone who earns an hourly wage. <laughs> I would love to go. How do I? Well, uh, I didn't set aside any money for the trip back home. What a gooey words. Who could have next to me there for the small fortune? Too bad he'd arrive for the latter one. He wasn't happy having a real guy with a manager he was. Bellowing like a sort of big water buffalo. Can't stand by this uh, uh, start all you want, but no one will listen if you got the, uh, got the chips. Take it from me. I wonder if this is what you, uh, what you heard about, that it's time to the casino. Hmm. It doesn't sound as if it's related to the masked gentleman. Do you still want to look into it, Professor? Finding peaceful solutions to potentially violent situations is the duty of every gentleman. Well, if you want to get to the casino, just keep it straight from here. Once you get to the end of the avenue, you can't miss it, mate. You just wanted the trail of broken dreams. The boulevard of broken dreams? Pog? Thank you for your time. Like the place. Let's go in and see if we can help. So let me get this straight. You're saying I'm the one who lost fan square? Oh, I see. I'm a villain now, am I? That's a laugh. There's only crooks in here, shady dealer of yours. We all have our off days, sir. I'll have to ask you to leave now. Tomorrow is another day. Is it? I uh, see how calm you feel after a break some of uh, your smarmy sunglasses. A moment, gentlemen. Let's all settle down and discuss this rationally. Relax, citizen. It's all under control. Well, hello there. Well, I simply cannot bear the sight of violence. I understand that there will always be conflict in the world. Which is why I suggest they resolve this in the most beautiful form for contest known to humankind. The puzzle battle. I'm listening. Go on, then. Oh, mark my words, Mr. Fancy Pants. You ain't got no chance of beating me this time. I'm sure you're correct. But while I dislike your confrontations, I find the notion of a puzzle battling quite intriguing. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Come on, knock. We ain't gonna die. Now, now, patience is at you. Gentlemen, this is a casino, and in a casino you battle with chips. Now at a glance, these chips may look randomly placed, but behold, each column deliciously adds up to 15. How about a very dreadful state of affairs? The rows are bereft of the same exquisite symmetry.
We must have these poor disordered rows, mustn't we? So I ask you this. Rearrange the chips so the same number, beautifully balanced. Go oh, there, have you? With the tips around to each row and each colour might have to the same number. Just playing in. Yes, I think I understand. Hmm. What did? I mean, that'd be tough. You do appear to solve this. A moment while I check. Yes, indeed, every row and colour met up to 15. Bravo! And I imagine the gentleman here will now humbly acknowledge his defeat. It's true that the conditions of the puzzle have been fulfilled, but... Yeah, they have, so it's a problem. Simply this, I believe there's a more elegant solution. What do you mean, sir? All the rows and cones are complete. If you're trying to save face, you must say I'm disappointed. Look, what does this puzzle remind you of? Looks like a lot of a lot like a magic square puzzle. Exactly. Except that the way it is now, the solution is incomplete. Right, you are, Professor. The rows and columns are fine, but the diagonals need to add up to fifteen as well. Oh, he knock. Don't listen to him. Ain't worth it. Just move them chips exactly like you. <laughs> Frankie, your excellent comments are delightful, but please, there's no doubt about your victory. Did I concede if this gentleman can show me a perfect solution? Then you're truly, utterly disqualified. Well then, allow me to demonstrate. Well, you should do this moves than me or didn't count. Understood. I should complete the magic square by touching only two chips. I don't believe that's possible, but please, by all means, prove me wrong. Also have um Would you have fifty across this diagonal?
but this diagonal adds up to 18. Also, <clears throat> the current point to target point difference between these two columns is nine. I want to move nine points between the columns. But at the same time, also only removing three points. Mm. From that diagonal. And not modifying the point value of anything else. So the point difference between the two the two chips I change has to be identical. If I raise if I'm touching the other columns But also only if I want to touch any of the other rows. Or the other diagonal for that matter. So if I swap these... That would give me a closer result. Would come out with... 6 plus 7, 13. To... 17. Which is too off in both directions. It would not mess with any of the point values except for this direct uh, this diagonal which would then come out to 11 
The problem is no other move I can do. To cleanly solve this. Would it also ruin any of the others? I'm pretty sure. No, I think I need to make an equivalent uh, change between two rows or two columns to solve this. What if I stop like this? No. They wouldn't move enough value in here. Or out of here. For that matter. But what if I swap this? I would transfer four points between these two columns, bring us to 10 and 20. It would also raise the value of this diagonal by four to 22 and raise the value of this diagonal by 4 to 19. is then kind of the same again, I guess. I have no nice way of uh, lowering one diagonal and increasing the value of the other. No, I, I have no nice way of lowering both diagonals, that's what I should say. In a second move. So I, I can't touch the center chip, that's good information. Because if I... <clears throat> Because if in two moves, I touch the center chip. Then I cannot modify the two diagonals in the same direction. in the second move. So that, that chip is out of the question.
Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh. That's mean. That is unfair. Wait, so they color coded. If you don't have the same color chip in the same column and row, you, uh, you automatically have the rows and columns match up. So like this. Oh. Uh, that works. That works, I guess. How would you know to do that? I have to hand it to you. The thought of pushing chips with other chips would not have occurred to me. Most inspired. You're very kind. You'll see that the rows, columns, and diagonals are all up to 15 now. Ding, ding, ding. A complete of magic squares a certain beauty, don't you think? I, 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 I must agree. I'm not sure to declare victory for the gentleman. Oh, come on, Nark, I had it. Now, Frankie, try to be a good sport, will you? I think it's best you left now. Oh, fine, I'll go. Well, they ain't over on a long shot. There was some skillful invitation, sir. I hate to, uh, to add a one man casino ride to the best of the doors, screaming Mr. Forries. My pleasure. It was worth just to see such a flawlessly elegant solution laid out before me. Well, thanks to you as well, sir. I feel I owe you best some, uh, owe you some sort of reward. Name's Drake, by the way. I'm the manager here. Professor Herschel Layton. There's no need for a reward. I simply relieved that we could resolve the situation peacefully. I, on the other hand, would be more than willing to accept a reward for my skill demonstration. Narcissus, is it? Drop it and see us again sometime. I certainly shall. Don't forget me. That all kind of felt like one big tram. No matter. Let's pick up the investigation where we left off. I need something to drink again. There. 
the good shit. Haha. -ha. Uh, no. Your prize is nothing because there never was a staring contest. I mean, it's kind of unfair, also. Like, I could just turn off blinks, blink tracking. I mean, hold on. Hold on, hold on. That that is okay. Staring contest. One second. Where is it? This looks so weird. There we go. There we go. That's uh, that's not weird at all. <laughs> But here, there we go. I can I can no longer close my eyes. <laughs> Your fault for saying stay in contest. You wanted this. You asked for it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Dear me, I completely lost track of time. Let's make our way to Tingdy Town as quickly as possible. Yes, let's. Tingdy Town is at the north end of the city, if I recall. Finally, to the fun fair. to Dingley Town, the fantasy factory for all five senses, or whatever the sign says today. I know you, you're the comic bumped into after the status incident. Yeah, I'm Knuckles, and I have the masked gentleman's planning another caper here tonight at Goody. Just those nightmares about the night with the statues, knowing that they are running after me very slowly. You saw the statues miracle up close, didn't you? Pardon me, Knuckles, but we were hoping to stop the masked gentleman before it strikes again. Oh, the horrors! It is just... Wait, you catch the menace? I put it into my nightmares? I mean, that is why it's the clown name. I doubt this person was named Yakos at birth. Uh, but you can't let your guard down. Alright, how's this? I'll let you in if you... Uh, but only if you've solved at least 50 puzzles. So many puzzles have you three credits at this point. Great, you proved yourself. Uh, you proved you, you use your heads for more than just wearing heads. I feel a whole lot better about letting you in now. Here, take these passes. You can get it for free all week without. Enjoy your time and end this reign of terror. Best of luck, but I, I'm just in case you fail. I'll be running away for the night. Wait, run? No, I'll take the Montador tram. Let's get to the race course in no time. But you can buy a ticket for that ma a machine over there. Enjoy! Oh, and watch out for owls, too. Clever blighters. Always shooting when you least expect it. He's a strange one. I suppose it's part of the clan's trade.
If it wouldn't be called Flora, it'd be called Yakos. Perfect. Ah, uh, look! Fast travel! Coming soon! Fog. Ah, oh, I'm only allowed to solve one more puzzle. <sighs> the Benui Isle. Oh no! Oh, come on! Benoit too much. There was one 
fewer items. What in the fuck? Fuck this. Just the worst one, oh my god.
Oh, come on. Just when I had it through. Super easy, actually. I just really had... It took a while to find the, the path there. Ta-da! Ding! Probably hang on to your hat. Dragon! Ah, look at the cute! Look at the bean! Tell me where that monster scall scallion is! I'm ready to have him at have him! Wow. We only just arrived ourselves, Inspector. I don't see any other police officers in the vicinity. Is anybody else coming? Well, Sheffield's convinced the Dawson's the man. He gave half of the lads a night off. Sheffield may claim to protect the city, but he has overconfidence. There's really many people in danger. Hmm. But with or without support from the police, we have to start our search, right, Professor? Yes, we need to track down the masked gentleman before he's able to act. I, naturally, have already found the first clue on my way in. I spotted a person that read a new spin of the miraculous. Hmm. It certainly sounds like a theatrical friend. But what does it mean, Leighton? I'll need to think about that. There's no time, man. Just sit here and think. I'm just going to uh, go and charge around until I knock him over. For the yard! Whee! I thought Inspector Groski is occupied. Let's go to this clue. A new spin of the miraculous. There's no shortage of things that spin here. I see the ferris wheel, the merry-go-round, the teacups. And don't forget the roller coaster. Those wheels spin rather fast. Which should we investigate first? Seeing as you're so excited, I think it's fair we did you decide, Luke. <laughs> well, nothing seems to be out of the ordinary the merry-go-round. A new spin of the miraculous. Professor, look, a poster! Oh, well spotted, Luke. It appears to be a puzzle. Mm -hmm. For the yard, it is! <gasps> it's this one! Ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Ah, 
Oh. Well, that's quite a predicament, isn't it? I mean, this one dictates then that uh, in conjunction with this one, that has to be configured this way. Which then kind of drags all the other pieces of the puzzle around with it to a satisfying conclusion. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. Wasn't that a beautiful solution? Was a I really sure. like that solution. Correct. The pattern looks so neat and tidy now that it has all right and upright. Hmm. What is it, Professor? Puzzle is based around very go round horses. I wonder if he's trying to lead us to look more closely at them. Leave it to me, I'll have a look. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Do you think that person is really the work of the masked gentleman? Well, she certainly is meticulous with the presentation. I wonder what will happen tonight. Professor, I found this underneath one of the horses. Fascinating. Is that... It's got a picture of the Mask of Chaos on it. Lily Colin Carter. I wonder if the Masked Gentleman left any more around. This the teacup ride. It's kind of a spooky version, isn't it? Indeed. Far less inviting than your everyday return teacups. Still, it does let a uh, pleasant spine take things a tone for the ride. Hmm. There's something funny about these teacups, and it's nothing to do with them looking like pumpkins. Red, yellow, purple, blue, red, yellow, purple, blue, red, blue, yellow, purple, uh, red, blue, purple, yellow, what? Am I... Hallucinating? Hello? No. Red, yellow, purple, blue. Red, yellow, purple, blue. Red, yellow, purple, blue. Red. Red, blue, yellow, purple. Yeah, this one. Jesus. How about this? But yeah, that's one puzzles too many puzzles. I'm to so sorry. Solved. It's no longer nice. Hmm, I believe then. Um, something may be hidden in the pumpkin there. Take the surprise to the rescue. I'll go investigate, Professor. I suppose investigating a teacup ride shouldn't be too dangerous. <laughs> no, I think it's quite safe. Professor, do you have any idea what the Masked Gentleman is planning tonight? Difficult to say. The fact that he chose such a crowded venue is worrying, though. Sooner or later, somebody's going to get badly hurt. Professor, Emmy, I found this card stuck underneath the seat in the, key in the teacup. Good work, Luke. Hey, it's the Mask of Chaos. It's a message from the Masked Gentleman, but what could it mean, I wonder? <laughs> Hedge. Yeah. This huge Ferris wheel is perhaps one of the more obvious spins in the fairground. It's moving a little oddly, isn't it? You're right, Emmy. It looks as if it's coming to a stop bumpily. I wonder if it's broken. Seventy! Bruh! 
Oh no, a cable section of the circuit has some uh, come loose, and now the uh, the ferry's wheels controls don't work. You have to repair the yellow cable quickly. Fix the circuit by the moving uh, by moving the uh, long yellow section down at the gap at the pro uh, bottom of the grid. Dude. I hate this. I hate sliding puzzles. They are literally the worst. Also, that turn counter is stressing me out. And I'm locked in again. Oh, I hate this. I have always hated these. No. Uh... Let's get this fucker out of the way. It's so big! Man! No... Yes... Maybe... I mean, that's better than before. We'll get these... shitty pieces over there. God, this sucks. Re. Fuck it. Thank you. 
It is time to use the hint coins. Fuck this. First, add a yellow section to the top right. Slot these into the resulting gap. The next piece to move is the clock. The cock, I mean. This, maybe? Continuing from the hint one, make sure the one is against the left edge. Then slide this thing up next to the one. To the thing. Move that to the far right second row on the bottom. Move that above this and then slide these into the vacant space. Move the clock to the top left corner and slot this in here. Move that to the left edge. Third row from the bottom. There we go. Don't keep me in suspense. There is no puzzle without a solution. I prefer this over googling the answer, to be honest. <laughs> like, I can build, use the built in solve the puzzle for me. The way the game intended. But I hate sliding puzzles, and I will continue to skip them. <laughs> uh... The ferry's wheel is running normally again. I wonder where the ride operator is, though. Yeah, this is a feature. The other thing would be cheating. Exactly. Professor, there's a card stuck to the side of here. But to the side here. You got a picture of the Mask of Chaos on it. I knew it. <sighs> Who does he think he is endangering the citizen fairies wheel riders? It's obviously a token left by the masked gentleman, but it tells us little on its own. Presumably, it's just a part of his message. And let's investigate the roller coaster. Final puzzle! The roller coaster seems to be just the same as when uh, we went to it earlier. Perhaps you should have another go on it. No, I mean, I don't think that's necessary. Not scared, are you? Hmm, not at all. It's just that we should be looking for clues to the most gentlemen of going on rides. Come to think of it, something did catch my attention while I was watching you go on ride earlier. Really? I don't remember anything out of the ordinary. That panel over there, didn't you see it? Never even noticed. I've been mad at other things. Could be a message from the boss gentleman. Here we Let's have a closer look. Below the roller coaster lies a stack of see through panels with red arrows. Originally, there were four panels, but someone has got to take in one. Given that, given that each arrow points in a different direction, can you tell which panel is missing? Ah! 
Oh my god, it's a raccoon raid. 100 Picard, yes. That is how much a raid is worth. Um, <laughs> Hello, yes, and raiders. Let's find out what you played, shall we? Or maybe not, because my thing wasn't set up. Yes, can you put another message in chat so I can shout you out? <laughs> my thingy wasn't connected. <laughs> he Hello. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> A raccoon. Yes. <laughs> raccoon raid, even. <laughs> there we go. Yes. You played Kirby. Boya. But Boya. Nice. Boy, you indeed. One whole curb. Well, how how was the Kirby? Kerbal. So you're playing Leighton Hatterade? Yeah. I'm I'm playing Leighton. Uh I'm specifically playing Leighton. Um The only Leighton game I haven't played. Very easy game, but very cute. Yeah. I love Kirby. Kirby is so cute. Uh, what puzzle am I on? Gosh, what number is this? <laughs> um... It doesn't tell you? No, that's not... This isn't puzzle 72. I'm at 73 solved puzzles. But I think this is a higher number. I still haven't finished the one with the future of past stuff. <laughs> Oof! That's the third. This is the fifth. If... Uh... No, it just tells me the name. Not the number, though. Let's find the fuck out. <laughs> um... Glass arrows... This is 88. This is puzzle 88. You played every other? Nice. Let's just be clear here. All of the latent games are good. This just happens to be the one I didn't have when I played all the others, so I didn't play it. One of the seven best Laytons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... See through panels with red arrows. That would imply that the more panels there are, the brighter the red would be. Which means I guess the missing panel would be this one. That's the only one that has section everywhere where it's less red. Don't keep me in suspense. Yeah. There we go. There is no puzzle without a solution. Look at my Picarats. Look at my score. It's not perfect because, I mean, yeah. But.
But uh, look, I'm rich. <laughs> so what does the missing arrow mean? Imagine it means we should look in that direction. Perhaps under the roller coaster track. Okay, I'll go and have a look. It's like 24 raids, ye. Gosh, Professor. The last gentleman is really cunning. Imagine planting cues in, in a ride. He does seem to relish leading us in this little treasure hunt. Professor, look. Look what I found. A mask of chaos. There's no doubt it's a message. But this card doesn't tell us very much on its own. So that's the fourth card. Hey, Professor. I think we have the whole set now. Look. Hmm. Yes. They form a map of sorts. I believe the masked gentleman wants us to go to the tower top of the hill. On top of the hill? I see it! According to the guidebook, that's Tingley Tower. It's the control room. Is that where the masked gentleman plans to perform his miracles? It certainly has a commanding view of the entire park. Leighton, a moment if you please. Hello, Herschel. Henry, Angela, you came after all. Herschel, I asked for your help, and you deserve your trust. Henry has something to say. I apologize for my behavior earlier. My responsibility is to my city. I will do whatever it takes to help you apprehend the last gentleman. Thank you both. With your help and knowledge on the city, I'm sure we will track him down. I'm just glad we arrived in time. What do you know about the plans for tonight? Do you know where he's hiding? Herschel, please tell me you found something. Yes, I believe we have. He planted a series of clues around the fairground. Really? What sort of clues? He seems to be leading us to Tinkley Tower, the park's control room. Well then, what are we waiting for? Hey ye. Leitong. Yeah, I'm, an, I'm an unsolved 72 out of 88 possible. I've been very diligent up until, like, puzzle 40. But I wanted to have a reason to visit Grandma, so I skipped a few puzzles on purpose. So that I'd go to Grandma. <laughs> I do have a vague recollection of seeing this scene before. Maybe in a trailer. Wow, this is Tinkley Tower? Looks like an exotic palace. If I didn't already know it was a control room, I would have thought it was another attraction. This certainly is a fitting location for the masked gentleman's theatrics. I wonder what he's planning. A panic in the middle of the crowded fairground could be catastrophic. We must prevent this next miracle somehow. Wait, Professor, look up there! Ah, I'm delighted to see you've made it. Tonight's miracle is for the select few who were clever enough to find my clues. Now on with the show. Wait. Ah, catch me if you can. Blast! He's disappeared in the control tower. Henry, wait. What exactly is inside the tower? Industry grade power relays, mostly. All the electricity for the park is routed through the tower. Naturally, we keep it locked so that nobody can. <laughs> what if he cuts off the power to the rides? He could endanger all the visitors. It doesn't quite seem theatrical enough for the last gentleman. Still, we should follow him inside. Uh, Professor, how are you supposed to find the masked gentleman in the dark? Henry, do you know where the light switches are? No, I've never needed to come in here before. Let's see. <laughs> Worry not, my esteemed guests. You have the best seats and house. You'll see in just a moment. Where are you? Where are you? Show yourself, villain. How dare you threaten my city. Your city? Hmm... Is that what you think? 
Though I suppose, yes, the sour pit of greed and tawdry fills, does reflect his creator perfectly. And I haven't played this game until like a year ago. Just stop playing like three riddles before the end. Oh no! <laughs> no! But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty certain I haven't played this game myself. But I have a vague recollection of the amusement park. Which is why I thought it would be earlier in the game to be like printed on the cover or something. But I might just have caught a stream of it someday. Just a few puzzles or something. Not enough to like remember any story beats though. Just like, hmm, Leighton. You built this city as a monument to your grotesquely swollen ego. I can't wait to see your face when it's all gone. How dare you! Now, now, Lador. I'm actually helping you, you know. I'm teaching you a valuable lesson in humility. And giving you exclusive entry to the most miraculous show on Earth. <laughs> Professor, he's getting away! You must cut off his escape. Hurry, everyone. He's gone. He can't be far. He must have come back this way, no? And the only way to go back down is, uh, uh, the, the only way to go is back down the hill. Quick, back to the fairground! <gasps> Any mission? But not drawn this time, but in engine. <clears throat> the fragment's empty. Where did everybody go? No, we're too late. Did they just vanish? Impossible. That's a beat trick. Hmm. <laughs> ah, congratulations. You're now members of an exclusive club. Fairground visitors who still exist. You monster. Why are you doing all this? Why, Henry, I'm doing it for you. So you can understand what it means to have everything you've worked for vanish. After all you've done for me, paying you back in kind is the least I could do. <laughs> ah. Angela! Henry, help me! Wait, no! Angela! Angela! Professor, he's taken her! Must act quickly. Thank you, Luke. For telling us that he's taken her. I wouldn't have been able to glance without that outburst of yours. <laughs> They're gone. I'm sorry, Henry. <laughs> no, Bayan. No. Tempting, like the the timeout button is looking looking very tempting right now. <laughs> Fuck no. They went this way. We can still catch them. Calm down, Henry. The masked gentleman planned to harm Angela. He would have done uh, done so already. <laughs> huh? Professor, do you hear that? Something's happening inside the control tower. Maybe it's Angela. Angela, I'm coming. Henry, wait. Angela, where are you? Henry, it's all right. I'm fine. This is but a small taste of the anguish I will bring you in the door. A little appetizer before the banquet. A banquet, whatever. Ba banquet. Hon hon. Fucking <laughs> banquet, I, I guess in English. But it will never be enough. Everything I had, you. What are you talking about? Who are you? What have I done to you, Henry? Have you no feel for drama? We need a good cliffhanger to build the anticipation for the final act. Final act. What could he mean by that? 
I promise it won't disappoint. Believe me when I tell you there will be nothing anticlimactic about this one. And don't worry about getting good seats, you'll be able to see tomorrow's miracle from anywhere in the city. It will be the last and greatest miracle of my illustrious career. Ha ha ha! No, this ends here. You seem well equipped to stop me, Leighton. But if you don't, well, there will be casualties. Quite a few of them. In fact, I imagine there won't be an accurate body count for quite some time. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you a fond farewell. What is that lunatic planning? Henry, what are you going to do? I don't know, but it's my duty to protect the city. Perhaps if you gave him the mask of order as he likely asked, he would stop all of this. It must be among the treasures you found in the ruins. Henry, if you search thoroughly, thoroughly, I'm sure you'll find it. I can't, the treasure. Henry, you must stop hiding. Think of the city. Angela, I'm not hiding anything. Why would you say that? If I might interject, I don't think it's safe to stay here. We've yet to find what happened to the people who vanished. Uh, of course. Well, the masked gentleman has escaped once again. I don't like what he said about being able to see the next miracle from anywhere in the city. It is rather troubling indeed. Whatever his planning, he must, it must be enormous in scale. Maybe this time and everyone in town will disappear, or turn into statues, or sp spontaneously combust. Perhaps, but I fear it may be something far more real than this trick so far. What about making everyone in Tindy Town disappear? Was that a trick? We won't know until we find them, I suppose. What on earth? Everyone's back. No it looks just as it did before. There's no sign of panic. What is this? But they vanished. We all saw it. What does it mean, Professor? I wish I knew, Luke. Perhaps this was just another sample of the horror we can expect tomorrow. But why were the five of us and the only witnesses? He wanted me to see it. Yes, Henry. I think you need to tell us everything. Anything that you know. You really have no idea who the man under the mask might be. If there's no one we've made enemies with, I would. No, I don't, Tom. I don't know anyone who could be capable of this. Why has he gone so far? I'm going home. I need time to think. I need to construct some sort of plan for that monster's return tomorrow. Welcome to. I'm exhausted. Good night, both of you. Take care. It's almost as if these fair girls are unaware they disappeared. Nobody looks panicked or even confused. Professor, here comes Inspector Grosky. Leighton, I saw the door and his wife hurrying from away from here. Did something happen? Yes, we have another encounter with the masked gentleman. Impossible! I was on the scene! How could I have missed that? Inspector, you've been here on the fairground all evening, is that right? I know! You took an elevator inside the tower and arrived in an accurate recreation built under the actual amusement park! No, that's too far-fetched, Flora. Why would that ever be a plot twist in a Leighton game? <laughs> this series is so stupid. <laughs> Of course, I've been probably the police in this place within uh, within each of its life. Looking for that masked nerdy well. I love Grosky. And there were people around enjoying themselves the whole time. Yes, unless they were only pretending to enjoy themselves. Is that it? No, nothing like that. So you didn't notice anything unusual? Professor, it sounds as though Inspector Grosky didn't even notice that uh, when he and the others disappeared. I believe you're right, Luke. I think that's a vital clue. But it's getting late now. Let's go back to the hotel. Inspector, you should know what, uh, that the masked gentleman threatened us with a final miracle tomorrow. He said it would be visible from anywhere in the city, so you must prepare for a large-scale event. Please report this to Chief Inspector. Ask him to post as many officers as he can on the streets. 
Of course. Until tomorrow, then. For the yard! We'd better get some rest. Let's resume our investigation in the morning. Something that can be seen from anywhere. What could the Emma gentleman be planning? Well, whatever it is, it's going to dwarf everything we've seen up to now. Thus far, he used misdirection and simple illusions. But such tricks are hard to pull off on large scale. Professor, could he use the power for the mask? Is that what killed Randall? No. No, that was my fault. If I had been a better friend, Randall would still. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, I, I think the solution to this is that we went to a fake amusement park somehow. Like, how else would all the people disappear for us but not for Groski? That makes no sense. Unless Groski is also paid off by Mugai, the masked gentleman. Ready to embark upon the first day of the rest of your life, Herschel? I love Randall's voice actor. Henry, is everything all set? Yes, Master Randall. The cart is loaded and should be ready for your departure. Angela, what are you doing here? Henry, is this your doing? Yes, sir. My apologies. It seemed rather important. Henry had nothing to do with it. I wasn't going to let you go without saying goodbye, Randall. Randy. I thought it'd be easier if you didn't see me go. I was going to have Henry deliver this. But since you're here... Small Henry. What? What is this? You can't take this. this. Look after it for me. You can give it back when I return. Yes. Yes, of course. Thank you, Randall. I'll see you soon, Angela. I swear. You will be careful, won't you? Naturally. When I get back, we can have that picnic on the hill. How does that sound? Well, we'd better be off before my father spots us. Next stop, Aquadine. That's how it's pronounced. Goodbye. Please don't worry, Miss Angela. Master Randall has a remarkable mind. He'll find what he seeks and return soon. I hope you're right, Henry. I'm certain of it. Does it? Dun. Dun, 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 dun. I love these animated cutscenes. They are so good. Do you think she'll be alright, Randall? What latent music is good? What a hot take! Amazing! Angela, oh, she'll be fine. She's always like that. If you say so. So, where do we go from here? Where is this Agbadine exactly? Oh yeah, I never got round to showing you, did I? Hmm? Look at this. Remember how I explained that the mask inscriptions are a sort of treasure map? I spent a whole three months deciphering it. But I found out with Leeds. Thornley's Gorge, due south of Stansbury. What about this, uh, the crest? It's piqued your interest, has it? Well, I researched that too. I searched through numerous academic works and analyzed over 80, uh, 80 ancient symbols that were similar to the crest. My analysis led me to one overwhelming conclusion. These similar symbols all originate from the very distant past. The civilization responsible for them is not connected to any culture we know from historical records. It's the Azran civilization, Herschel. The mysterious Azran, known only from the most ancient of legends. The Azran civilization? It's discussed in Rogers' ancient histories. 
And there's man there are many theories, but nothing has ever been proven. Until now, that is, Herschel. Think, uh, I think the Asrin built the Aquadine uh, ruins. This could be the first solid evidence of their existence. It'll be the first uh, fun of the century. But, but the Asrin, do you really think? And us standing around. Aquadine's waiting. You really think the ruins are here? They're here. I know they are. So much animated stuff. How on earth are we supposed to get down there? You promised Angela we weren't going to do anything dangerous. I know what I said, Herschel. What about no risk, no glory? This is the chance of a lifetime, and we must seize this opportunity while we have it. Randall, this is- I'm not interested in talking anymore. I've worked so hard for this. You can go back home if you must. But Herschel, I'd rather you were there. All right, Randall. Let's go. Hmm, I wonder how he died. Or did he? Whoa. It's time for late in Mystery Dungeon. Here we are, the Aquadine Ruins. The Mask of Chaos led us here. To unearth the ancestral treasures hidden within. Uh, hidden within. This place looks absolutely huge. I never planned for an expedition of this scale. I know, isn't it brilliant? That isn't quite what I was getting at. Come on, we have to work together. Who, uh, together. Who knows that traps and pitfalls might r we might run into? We need a plan of action. I'm thinking, not that you already have something in mind. Naturally, I'll run you through my ruins exploration strategy. Lucky for us, I managed to find a copy of the ancient manuscript that's believed to be a map of Aquadine. Uh, Don't worry about getting lost. You can just touch the map icon in the corner to take your current location. Whenever you want to speak to me, just touch talk. You can ask me about anything, from basic information to advice on getting past traps and sticky situations. The backpack works the same as the trunk, so you can just use it as usual. So next, how, we do we, how do we move? Touch the arrows on the touch screen to move in any direction. Hold the arrow down to walk along without stopping. Ah yes, I almost forgot. You could also use the plus control pad or the circle pad to move. It's entirely up to you. Have a go at moving now. Ha! I've been saving a present for you guys. Now seems like a good time to give it to you. It's a large shovel. Why are you giving it to me? Every explorer needs a good shovel. Here, let me to explain. Touch dig hole to dig a hole in the ground, directly in front of you. And let's see, you also can press the A button to dig a hole, whatever's easiest for you. As you can imagine, you can't dig through rocks on a solid stone floor, only into soil. Aren't you just dying, uh, trying to try it out? Go on, try digging a hole over there. Later, it's shovel knife crossover confirmed. Oh my god. It is a blue shovel, so yeah, maybe. Have a go at digging a hole there. Excellent! Nicely dug! Hmm, the shovel may come in useful. Right then, I think we have a plan. We'd better start exploring or we'll never be world famous archaeologists. Now we can go.
What on earth? The ground's flowing. There must be something buried there. Is it obvious? Quick, dig it up. A hint coin. Look, man, I found a hint coin. That's not a surprise. My archaeologist's instinct never fails. I reckon that lone patch is like, I like it to contain something interesting. Just as long as interest it doesn't turn out to be snakes or anything. <laughs> Don't be so negative. Come on, let's get moving. Bit might be checking with that hole there. We better fill it back in, Hush. Just turn in front of the hole and touch, fill hole. Hole. Yep, that's the hole. Re. The hole's closed. How are we going to get past it? Well, we could always try pushing it. Yay, yeah, he... They literally said in the tutorial I can use the control pad or the circle stick to move this. Like, yeah. I could control this with the D-pad if I had any clue what the D-pad maps to right now. Yeah, they did. There's no way to put it open either. Ah. You can't come all the way out here to, uh, to Agbeta and then get stuck the first door. Dash it all. Da hold on. What's this? I think it's a switch of some sort. Nothing happened. Must not have anything to do with the door. Wait a sec, there's another switch over there. Maybe that's the answer. Still nothing. Fiddlesticks. These switches can't be just there for no reason. Think, Ash, there must be a way. I mean, y yeah. Oh, I know. Let me just try something. You have to press both switches at once to open the door. Nathan Smart. Hush, you're genius! Now we can move on. <laughs> Sad to believe you didn't work that out for yourself. You knew what to do all along, didn't you? <clears throat> you know me too well, Hush. I can't fool you, can I? Still, I'd have been stuck on my own. You're lucky there are two of us. Maybe this is a reminder to use Steamer. Possibly. In any case, I've come this far. So I'm going to uh, go with you to the end. Worth 10 billion picarats, yes. Look, another door. And another two switches. I'll take the one on the right. You take the left. Roger. Ah! What are those things? They look like mechanical mummies of some kind. Perhaps the guardians of the ruins come to greet us. I'd say I'm not the terribly keen on this kind of greeting. Come on, this only makes it all the more exciting. No risk to glory, remember? You have that shovel, didn't don't you? Just stick some holes for the mummies to fall into. What about you, though? I'm a champion sprinter, remember? I'll make a dash with the switch on the right. The one on uh, the left is up to you. If digging holes doesn't work for you, just run for it. Once you've the switch, uh, pressed the switches, mummies won't matter, I hope. Right, I made it. Herschel, you got that other switch. And now, give me a moment. Somebody's blocked by the mummy. What should I do? Use the shovel to dig a hole, then try to lure the mummy into the hole. Yeah. 
Ding. We got through in one piece. Phew. This place is rather more closely guarded than I imagined. Yes, we'll have to be on our toes from now on. Oh boy. How deep these ruins go, I wonder. They must be vast. Akba is and legendary for nothing. If they go on for uh, 400 floors or something, what do we do then? Uh, I hadn't. Well, let's worry about that when we come to it, shall we? Look, it's a boulder and a, and a path. Oh, blast. What shall we do? It hmm, looks heavy, but on the other hand, it's round, so maybe we can push it and roll it out of the way. Well, it's certainly worth a shot. Let's try out. Push. Come on, try it. No. Okay. Oh, it worked. That was easy. We didn't even have to worry. Why did we even worry? Great, from now on we found boulders in our path. We just shoved them out of the way. Random hint coin. Check. Puzzle Chamber 1. You know, Herschel, I have a feeling this room is going to be rather tricky to get through. There's a gap in the floor. It's far too wide to jump. Hang on a sec, why don't we just use the boulder to make path? Another puzzle solved. Ha! <laughs> I think you enjoyed this one, though. Anyway, I'm going with you up. Yeah, I, I get it. This isn't the most high difficulty puzzle ever made. Trash, Pog. Yes. Trash indeed. Ta da! Brilliant. We can just walk over the boulder now. So, boulders have to use this too. Let's keep in mind. Onwards then! Mummy chamber. No. And now the mummies are back. What's up on lot? Hey, there's a thought about pushing bullets into the mummies. I should deal with them. That's a problem. I thought it would work out, but apparently I am too tired to count.
Haha! -ha. Easy. Let's see down, Hesh. Beat this up and we'll get to the heart of the ruins in no time. It's not good to cook. There might be more nicely surprises ahead. You worry too much, just like your mother. Be positive like me. Together, you and I can do anything. What? Look, there's a puzzle in here. Wow, there's all sorts of things buried in the ruins. Well, you dug it up, so you have to solve it. Wait, what? Are you serious? Ding! Oh, not again. The totem pranks just have piled up these toad blocks in the cave. I can only use the mallet once. There we go. I'm not certain. Did just I bonk the ground. Just break it. <gasps> this is why archaeology is so brilliant. You never know what you'll find. Yes, well, so we go on. Another puzzle. Nope. Just a hint coin. Boop, boop. And the third level down now. It's really starting to feel the world otherworldly. Too much further to go though. I've never told my parents I was going with you. They're going to get worried. Your mother certainly will. But at least your father understands the spirit of the explorer. All my father ever says to me is stop uh, wasting time on foolish adventures and study how to make it over the estate. Now even Angela's turning against me. Henry's the only one who supports my archaeological ambitions. They all worried about you, Randall. I don't want you running off or putting yourself in danger. Nor do I. It's a bit late now, of course. You couldn't have stopped me anyway. This trip is going to make me famous and launch my archaeology, uh, archaeological career. If you get stuck anywhere, just ask me and I'll do what I can do, uh, what I can to help. We can do this, Hash. Come on. Oh, but I'm getting way too tired for this. <sighs> We're going to continue this another day. I cannot, like, staring at the screen is not good. <laughs> oh. Man. Oh yeah. We'll uh we'll, we'll continue this game another day. Sneak needs to rest the sneak things. I'm gonna see you tomorrow. I hope you've had a good time with stream. Thank you, Niesh, for the raid. 
and yeah. Oh, good night.